Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about photosynthesis. I'm going to try to make it uh, quick and and easy to understand. Uh, we're just going to talk about the basics. We're not going to get too in detail. Um, so it's just a quick overview on photosynthesis. So it is the most important chemical process on earth. Okay, so that's how uh, thanks to photosynthesis we can get some oxygen to breathe and thanks to photosynthesis we can get some food to eat. Okay, so it's very, very important. Um, Here's our formula. If you remember cellular respiration, you technically have the opposite. So whatever was the reactant in cell resp is now the product. Um, whatever was the product is now the reactant. Okay, so in photosynthesis, we have CO2, carbon dioxide, plus water, plus some sunlight. Okay, that plants get from the sun. And they turn that into some food, P6H12O6, and some oxygen. Okay, so that's the biggest one. Um, the numbers in the front, I guess 602, that's just to balance the equation, but you need to know about balancing or anything like that. Okay, so carbon dioxide and water and some energy. We water the plants, um, some CO2, and a little bit of energy from the sun. And they produce the food or sugar and oxygen for us. Mm. A couple important things from photosynthesis that they remove CO2. Now that now we're going green, we're producing a lot of electric cars, but all these factories and, and all the gasoline cars and all the burning of fossil fuels and everything produces CO2. So plants are able to take it in, take it in, take it in to produce some food. Um, actually, the CO2 is also what gives a plant the structure. Um, that air gives it the stiff structure of a tree trunk. Okay, so having CO2 is actually good for plants. And they make oxygen for us to breathe, or else we can be breathing. And they also make carbohydrates for the entire food chain. Okay, so they make uh, food for the whole food chain. Um, they're called autotrophs. Um, what types of uh, organisms um, go through photosynthesis? We can talk about cyanobacteria or some types of bacteria. A little different colored bacteria that are like on top of the ocean, something like that. Uh, we got some protists, um, also uh, kind of like the algae or little plankton or little uh, little types of plants that live um, inside in in the water or in the oceans. And then we have all plants, okay, all other plants, and they all go through photosynthesis to produce some sort of of glucose and and oxygen okay just to make it nice and pretty okay now um all photosynthetic organisms or so organisms that go through photosynthesis are called autotrophs auto means self so they make their own food or they make food for everyone else Okay, so just generally we talk about a food chain. Um, the rest of us are over here and they are on the bottom. Now, autotroph autotrophs are producers. Um, some energy going on, um, called 10% rule, but we don't really need to get into that, um, that type of, of, of um, information. Um, this one, remember this word, endergonic. So remember this word from, uh, from the last class about energy. Um, endergonic means uh, energy enters. So if you see our formula, sunlight comes in, so energy enters, and they produce the food. So it takes there's a lot of energy stored in the bonds of the food molecule or the glucose. Therefore, this is an endergonic reaction. And the other way around, um, cellular respiration, we break down those bonds to produce energy, and that would be exergonic. Okay. Uh, the electron carrier here, instead of being NADH or FAD. Um, H, um, we have NADPH, that's the one that carries the electrons. So how do you carry the electrons in the form of H pluses? Okay. Um, absorption, okay, so here's big. Um, cytophotosynthesis uh, is, is in the uh, chloroplast. So these little um, organelles inside the plants little green ones mix actually we're making green these little guys in here um, this is a structure 
I like this picture better. Um, so this is a structure. You have your thylakoid. So you got little like hamburger stacks in there. Those are your thylakoids. Okay, so that's the biggest one, thylakoid. Um, and then the stroma is like the loopoid around those little thylakoids. So kind of like the cytoplasm and then the organelles, the mitochondria, it's very similar. Um, the thylakoid would be the little organelle and then the stroma would be the little water around, okay? Um, so we have thylakoid and the stroma. Okay, um, the rest is just the structure of the uh, chloroplast itself, the outer membrane, inner membrane space, the lumen or inside of the thylakoid. When you got a lot of thylakoids together, that's a granum. Okay. Um, so now getting into photosynthesis. Okay, here's a this is a process that we need to know. And I know it may look overwhelming, but it really isn't. I mean it's it's pretty simple. Okay, it's really simple. You got two process, two steps. Remember how cell rest we had four? This one we have two. Water comes in in the light reaction step is called. So in the light reaction, light comes in in the light reaction and water. Uh, we break down that water. We use the hydrogens to make NADPH and to make ATP. So we phosphorylate the ADP. Um, we produce from that H2O, you produce the O2, the oxygen. Well, actually not us, plants do. But I'm gonna say we as in, in the process itself. And then that's step one. Step two is the Calvin cycle. Okay, and the Calvin cycle, CO2 comes in the energy that was produced and the NADPH help run the carbon, carbon cycle and that's when they produce the food, okay? And then it gets recycled. So the ATP, uh, they take out that P or dephosphorylate and then you get NADP and, and ADP plus P, okay? So then the light comes in again, water comes in, the hydrogens, ATP, NADPH, and a little cycle. So that's basically the whole uh, photosynthesis process, okay? So I'm, we're gonna write down the steps, okay? Um, so we have the light reaction and the Calvin cycle, okay? So in the light reaction, uh, light enters, H2O enters, okay? And then, uh, produces um, NADPH, okay, so you have, um, let me draw real quick, not draw, but just highlights, okay, so you have the H2 here from the water and the oxygen, so those H's are going to go into that, you see how it's NADP, and all of a sudden it's NADPH, there it is, so it carries that electron to move it on um, later on to using the Calvin cycle, so there's the H's, and then also an H from ADP, and then you phosphorylate with the light, phosphorylate ADP into ATP, so triphosphate, and that's the energy they use for the Calvin cycle, okay? And produce oxygen. So what do you produce? NADPH, ATP, and oxygen. So it produces NADPH, ATP, and oxygen, okay? That's the light reaction, step one. Uh, step two, the Calvin cycle. Uh, what goes in? What goes in? Whatever the last one produced. So NADPH, GPH, um, um, ATP, and if you can see on the top, some CO two comes in, carbon dioxide. Which is here on the top. So carbon dioxide doesn't come in the light reaction. It comes in the Calvin cycle. Okay. Produces, and that's when we make the sugar or the glucose molecule. Okay, so any type of sugar molecule, glucose molecule, and also it doesn't produce, but what comes out of the cycle is the NADP. So NADP without the H and ADP without the T the triphosphate so because it's all been used for the cycle okay um, so that's how basic as it goes so again remember this uh, the electron transport chain that we had on the cellular respiration here's ATP synthase as well very similar process it's kind of like the opposite 
Um, so you have the membrane here as well, the chloroplast, and then you have um, the little proteins in here, light comes in. Um, there's different steps that we're not going to get into at all, but you have the H plus gradient on the bottom, remember? The H plus gradient. Um, and then uh, the, the H pluses are going to go into that pump, make it spin around and produce some ATP um, or use the H, the P, um, and then make the glucose molecule, okay? Um, the Calvin cycle occurs in the stroma, okay? So that's important. Occurs in the stroma while the light reaction occurs in the, what's a little green, green thingy called? in the thylakoid awesome. okay. so it occurs in the little thylakoid and then after that uh, in the stroma or like in the outside of the liquid the stroma is like the liquid in there around there and that's where the Calvin cycle occurs why well, remember that membrane well, out of that membrane everything goes out and that's when the whole process occurs out on the outside okay so that's it for photosynthesis. Just a quick review. Um, the difference between cellular respiration and photosynthesis. So rest uses glucose and oxygen. Photosynthesis, um, glucose and oxygen is produced. Water and carbon are produced in cell rest. Water and carbon are used in photosynthesis. So take the opposite. Exergonic, endergonic, uh, energy enters, energy exits. Catabolic, anabolic, we make food, break down food. Uh, the electron carriers, the NAD, FADH, the electron carrier, the NADP. Um, same way of ATP synthase, phosphorylate to ADP. ATP synthase, phosphorylate to ADP. Um, starts in the fluid, in cellular respiration, and moves to the structure of the mitochondria. This is the opposite. It starts in the structure, thylakoid, and then moves to the fluid, the stroma. Just different names. And they both use the electron transport chain. So that's our little that's our little table if you want to pause it and make your table so you can have all that information I'm not gonna write it down um, but let me share from both notes in case you want to have this out okay um, so here's some questions in case uh, you want to review very quickly on photosynthesis uh, write the general equation for photosynthesis and indicate which reactant is oxidized and which one is reduced okay so here's our formula the water the carbon dioxide um, remember, oxidation is loss, uh, reduction is gain, okay? Um, so here we're saying water is oxidized. Why? Because the water oxidation is loss, loss. So it lost the hydrogen because over here we have the oxygen. Now. Which one gained the hydrogen? The CO2 gained the hydrogen. So carbon dioxide is reduced to gain the hydrogens to make the food. Okay. Uh, is it endergonic or uh, exergonic? And why? Uh, remember photosynthesis, so light is going to come in, so endergonic. Light enters energy, enters endergonic. Uh, which organisms carry out photosynthesis? Some tiny bacteria, types of bacteria, some protists, and all plants. Uh, where in plant cells does photosynthesis take place? Where inside it starts with the C, little chloroplast, the green little hamburgers. Uh, where specifically does the light reaction take place? We just wrote that down. It occurs in the thylakoid. Um, and what are the ingredients or the reactants of the light reaction? We wrote it down here. Light and water. Um, water, ADP and NADP. So I should probably add that in there um, just so we don't forget. So um, the ADP, remember, is what we're going to use and then create ATP. Uh, NADP plus, so my bad, forgot to add that in there, but in our images we saw it, how it's, the ATP was in recycle, and this one produces NADP, ADP, which is now used over here, like that, so, just forgot those two, my bad, the carriers. Um, what are the ending products of the light reaction? So we have it here, NADPH, ATP, and the oxygen, uh, where specifically is electron transport chain located in the light reaction it's in the thylakoid as well okay the thylakoid membrane okay so it's just that membrane every time, every time you think about membrane um, 
What else? Uh, what enzyme is involved in phosphorylating ADP? So remember that enzyme um, starts with ATP as well. ATP synthase. That's the enzyme. Every time, every time it ends with A's, it's an enzyme. And what products of the light reaction enter the Calvin cycle? Okay, so what did the light reaction produce that comes in? Our two little fellas over here, the carriers, ATP and an ADPH. Um, and what other reactant enters from the top? The carbon dioxide. And where specifically does the carbon cycle take place? It occurs in the stroma. In the chloroplast, the little liquid. What are the ending products? Produce our sugar or uh, G3P. So G3P is just another name for that sugar. So I could add it in here so it doesn't, so you don't uh, mix it up. G so it's just a short name and the jet, that G3P can be just converted into any type of, of sugar. Okay. Um, what molecules can plants make from G3P? So this is just another question. Um, it's just any type of glucose, starch, cellulose, sucrose, fructose. So what we talked about way back when, about probably like week five or something like that. Okay. Um, in photosynthesis, plants take plank energy and convert it to plank energy. What type of energy comes in from the sun? It's called light energy. Uh, what type of energy is converted? It's called chemical energy. Okay, energy we can uh, use. And that's it for photosynthesis. Uh, I'll see you on, on Wednesday.